Hey guys, thanks for coming in. Thought I'd pop in really quick for a video face to face. Some people were telling me all I do is camera down, but that's fun too. So, um, for those of you who want to look at my ugly face, here it is. We are doing a live jewelry and jarring, and I will do a giveaway. Um, I have an issue with the last giveaway, not an issue. Just so happens that the person that won told me not to send it to her because she lives in France and she heard about my issues with my plumbing and all of the issues that are going to come with that. And oh, I'm such a mess. I'm such a mess with that problem with the with the house. You know, just discombobulates your whole your whole issue. I haven't had my grandson over or anything like that because the floors are open and the walls are open and you know they've dried everything up and everything, but now they have to reconstruct. So that discombobulates your whole world when something like that happens. And I've really never had anything like that happen where I have to put a stop on everything and talk to two or three different insurance companies. So she was very kind and said, please don't send me that jewelry jar all the way to France. It's so expensive. And boy, has it gotten expensive even to ship to Canada and Australia. And of course, I'll talk about that at my auction when I have it in about 30 minutes. But I thought I'd do a quick little jar and then I'll do a quick little trivia question. I haven't even thought of it yet and give another jar away and uh, we'll see what happens okay but that was very kind of her to say that let me see who's in the chat oh it looks like Kathleen is here Joni how are you Melissa Emily thank you guys so much for joining me please be sure and hit the thumbs up we're going to start already on the jewelry jar and then when we finish up if I don't forget hopefully I won't forget uh, I'll give away a jar Okay, I'll give away a custom jewelry jar with a piece of sterling. I'll even add that. I haven't done that in a while. All right, I'll put a nice piece of universal size jewelry. So it'll be a necklace or a bracelet. Uh, most people can wear, you know, pretty regular sizes on those. And add that to the giveaway. I think that'll be fun. <laughs> it's trivia that you know. Okay, I'll try to make it. It's not going to be anything like... Uh, history or anything it's usually personal so I like to give away jars that I like to do giveaways for people that come to the to the show just to come to the show so that's why I don't put a big banner that says giveaway because I know there's many people that hunt YouTube just for the word giveaway right and then they come and win something and never come back to the channel could care less about the channel but guys, give it a thumbs up on your way in or out. I appreciate it. Won't be here very long. That's why I chose a small one. This one was only $25. I bought it only because I'm always surprised to find jewelry jars in other places besides um, the Goodwill because they're they're rare. I see them once in a while at Salvation Army, but all of my Salvation Armies, I think except one, have closed. It's very disappointing. And this one was only $25, and it's actually a new store. That my husband and I discovered. He discovered it first, of course. And we went in there and then we saw jewelry jars. And so we, and it's really interesting because you pay for them, then they, which is good because it allows you not to forget. And then they put a sold sign on it and then you pick it up. So all the other ones had sold signs on them. And what was left, I grabbed. Let's see who else is here. Hey, Miss Verna. Hi, Coast Home. Diana here. How are you? I enjoyed our conversation immensely. I know it's it's a fiasco. Times timeless jewelry, Deborah. Hi, Miss Deborah. Tucson. Tucson. That's my my on my bucket list. Let me know if I can stay over one weekend. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anytime I've met people, it's just because we've had meetups or anything like that but actually Donatella invited me to Florida and I didn't get a chance to go because that's when I had other issues come into into be and I could not go but I really love meeting everyone that I can hey Vicky my auction preview oh good good all right so here it is um we're gonna dump it out and see what's in it and then we're gonna do a trivia question and give away a jewelry jar looks like a little compact fell out Let's see what comes out of these jars. I kind of miss having real jars, though. They're they're so quaint. And I've been filling them with, like, um, 
uh, bracelets and earrings, kind of to sort my things. And then I offer them usually at my off auction as well, kind of as a lot purchase. Hey, Gina, how are you? Gina's going to have an auction, guys. Subscribe to Miss Gina there at My Pink Bag, and she'll give you the directions. Is it tomorrow? No, Monday, right? I think it's Monday, right? Gina, let us know. Look how cool that is. I like that. So many good auctions, guys. I'm wearing some beautiful jewelry I found at an auction. This is from Roberta. I love it, Miss Roberta, if you're watching. Oh, my God. I love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, it is signed. It is Edward uh, Rasha. Edward Rush. I looked it up. 70s classic piece. It's all shadow boxes. This is my Mexican super heavy that I got from Vita McCoy's auction. And it's 80 grams inlaid with lapis, all fish, amazing Mexican piece. And then, okay, it is, it's a little double mirror, not broken. Is it magnified on one side? Oh, scary. Absolutely scary. But yes, I love it. That's cute. That's in there. Something that looks like gemstones. I always appreciate a little gemstone. Okay. Yeah, we've got probably some fluorite, some jaspers, the usual usual suspects when you, I don't know the stones. It's a jasper. It's an agate. It's fluorite. We're good. I don't usually like to say it's jade because jade is definitely very unique. And you can see that I can kind of tell with the little telltale signs of green jade. Sometimes there's some green little specks in there. I call them kiwi seeds. Um, vintage jewelry galore is in the house as well. Hi, Miss Anna. Yeah, this is a nice buy. I love it. I'm sorry if I'm not saying your name. I'm trying to get to my auction as well by five. But I did want to do this giveaway because, like I said, oh, this is cute. Um, I gave it away for that answer about the torque and the, the real answer. So I kind of, I kind of um, scaled it down or um, to the closest answer possible. But the answer was for the torque. The reason I had coveted a gold torque for so long was because I worked with a woman who was married with children and definitely had a lot more money than I did as a seven as a seventeen year old working teenager, right? And she had the style that I just loved everything she did. She wore that gold torque with a big gold coin, gold, real gold, real torque, <laughs> real gold torque. She always wore her nails with one color, one color alone. They were natural and they were long and they were that pink. And I even bought that, not pink, pearl. It's called Pure Pearl by Revlon. And she wore that every single day. I worked with her for about two years. And she just had this amazing classic style. She had short hair and she's just so sophisticated and so beautiful and she was actually a Mexican national so she had a beautiful accent as well and uh, I always wanted a torque since she had one and I could never afford it and then when I could afford it was when I saw one at James Avery and I didn't buy it because I kind of could afford it but not really and I decided to go with the sterling and then now the James Avery is out the door especially on eBay it's almost the same price as brand new so I bit the bullet and I got it anyway, but I bought it straight from James Avery for the same price I would have paid on eBay. This is Sodalite. It's really cute. So that was the answer, but I got really close to, um, you know, the, the pick the person that got the closest to the answer, but we're going to just do a random trivia question a little bit. This is not bad, guys. This is a nice chunk of Sodalite. Don't know what else is in there. Looks just like a little bead or something. I'm not sure what that is. Cool. So that was the answer to that question. And only about 13 people participated anyway. <laughs> That's okay. Again, like I said, I like to do random giveaways. I'll just put them in my com in my community page or do a pop-up like pop-up video and just let the viewers know we're going to do a giveaway. I don't put it in the banner. This is kind of cute. Interesting with that little beaded chain link. Hey, Miss Carrie. Yeah. No, a little wear on the on the clasp and all, but not a bad looking piece. It's kind of interesting there. All right, more green stuff in here. This is cute. This is not jade. This is acrylic, but I like the color. It does give off a jade vibe. Love green. And you can double it very easily. $25 is what I paid for this jar. Not a bad jar. And I forgot, I think it's called Desert Industry or Des 
They even spell it differently from dessert or desert. So I don't know how they're pronouncing it, honestly. But that's the name of the store. It's a thrift store here in Houston. They may have more than one location, but they do have jewelry jars. Okay, we have a wraparound watch. It's a cute face. Not crazy about the, the band, but, you know, I like to put, um, I'll get those little, what do they call those little pocket scarves that men use? I have found and have a few, and they're very thin because they're usually genuine silk and short, and I'll thread them through there, and that's how I like to wear these watches that allow allow you to, you know, kind of thread something through there because I'm not too crazy about that one, but that's a nice little face. I like it. Okay, another wrap around. This one appears to be real leather, actually. This is, of course, Geneva. And the cutting edge of fashion is Geneva. Watches don't last but one season, but there it is. They're usually really cute, though. And another very worn watch. Junky, junky watch. I like this bracelet. I'm not usually crazy about dolphins, but this one's kind of cute. Maybe because it's a clamper. It's not like, you know, I'm a dolphin, I'm cute kind of thing. It's got a little style, don't you think? You guys see that? Yeah, not bad. It doesn't scream dolphin. Let me see who else is in the chat. Parker, Barbara Phillips, how are you? You didn't get a chance. Timeless Jewelry says, I didn't get a chance to thrift down here in Tucson. My nearest grandson was just born. Oh, congratulations. How fabulous. How fabulous. Yeah, and then there's having... Um, Aren't they having the Balloon Fest this month as well? Or was it last weekend? I think it's in Albuquerque. This is a cute signed earring. It's nice and heavy, kind of gold, kind of a topaz. No, actually, it's like a cherry amber inside. Really nice color, but I only see one so far. So let's see if we get another one. Got a unicorn. No unicorn charm. We got some seashell earrings. I hate when I can't get matched up here, though. Oh, it's so annoying. Okay, these chains are interesting. Kind of gunmetal. I usually throw these in a crafter lot. People like chains in their crafter lots. So there it goes in the crafter lot. By the way, I'm also giving away crafter lots. So if you want to get one, I did give some away last six months ago or so. And I will ask you just to pay the $14 shipping for them or $19 shipping. I have enough to do about three boxes. And if you're the first three that write to me over at thelmahords at gmail.com, I will send them to you for absolutely free. I just threw that in there. There's nothing wrong with it. But there's a lot of interesting things in there. Some teachers grabbed them the other time. And they said the kids loved them. They did projects with them at school. This is cool. So uh, every time I fill up this hamper size, it's right below my desk, starting to get full. I uh, go ahead and just give those away because I don't want to redonate them to the same thrift store right here. And then I just rebuy it. What sense is that? This is cute. It's kind of like an orange shell. I like the little gold beads. It gives it a nice little coral look. Kind of that 70s look that I like. There's my dog. I like it. I like the colors on that. So let me know. Just write to me. Say, I, I want to craft a lot. I'll pay the shipping, either $19 or $14 box, or if you just want a small one, whatever I can fit in. And please be nice and gracious if I run out and say I ran out because it's first come, first serve. All right. What is this? This is turquoise. Really cute little 70s stuff that everyone had. Well, you could get these at the beat shops. And every corner back in 70-something for sure. And this one's stuck in here, but it's liquid silver, teeny little beads. 
cute. Teeny little beads of turquoise. It could just be um, colored beads. I will inspect them further, but it definitely looks like a 70s piece. That's nice. These shine up nice, too. And they have a little pearl accent. Look how cool. I love these. The thing is, these were made really small. They average around 15. They rarely fit most people. They're, they're really small. I don't know why they made them so small, but they did. I guess because they were choker size, and they that's kind of the way we wore them, I guess. Here's a cool watch. This one is really nice, and this is Michael Kors. So we'll get a battery for that, baby. I'll sell that one. This is cute. I hope it's, yeah, it's working. Not working. It's not broken. <laughs> I don't think it's working right now. It's really cute. It's got his little rose gold face that he's kind of, he kind of put on the map, really. Boy, did he have a re uh, research in people wearing watches, don't you think? About, I think about eight years ago, everyone had a Michael Kors watch. It's cute. All right, I'm going to get my husband to put a battery in that one. What else is in here? What is this? Oh my gosh, a dinosaur. Oh, I love it. I just deleted my dinosaur brooch off of Posh because I think I sold it. I can't find it. But I had a dinosaur brooch on Posh. What is this, guys? Look at him. He clips on right here, like a, just a little clip. And then he's got like some silver beads. I don't think they're real. And, and there he goes. I don't know. Maybe somebody had him for a pocket watch, you think? He's darling, Stegosaurus. Oh, my gosh. He's so cute. Let me see what you guys are saying in the chat. Hey, Kathy. Stegosaurus, I know. Hey, Jen, how are you? He, he looks like Sterling, guys. I'm not kidding. Let me look at him. He looks like Sterling and somebody glued something to him. Somebody glued this little clip. Yeah, I'm going to test. And, of course, if they glued that thing on him, I can't see it. I can't see the mark, but it does look like Sterling. That's a cool piece. Okay, a little glass pendant. I think we got the match to this amber-looking earring that was a post. Or maybe not. Let me put it up here, so case I, I may have picked up the same one. Here's a little Naja. That's cute. Teeny little Naja. I guess you could put it on a silver or beaded chain there. Hey, Sharon. Thank you guys for being here again. A lot of tidbits here, guys. Oh, like little charms that go on kids' bracelets and things. I won't bother to show you that, but oh, this is cute. A little bow pendant. Oh, a little, a little flag here. It's a kid's bracelet too. It's just a little flag, but I like it because it doesn't have any color on it. It kind of looks interesting that way. All right, then what else do we have? More necklaces. A little cranberry thing. Here we go. Oh, this is cute. Is there one missing? It almost looks like it might be twisted. Oh, I love it. I feel a cranberry color. This is really cute. Hi, Shireen. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Thank you for being here. Look how cute. It's acrylic, so it's lightweight. The color is very interesting. Like a cranberry color. It's not like, I don't know, like a wine cranberry. It's got a few different colors mixed in, so nice color play there. Lots of little thingies here. These little, like, service pins and things like that. Some are broken. I'll look through all of them because many times even the service pens will have 10K or even uh, gold filled. So look at them because they can be scrapped they can be scrapped here's a teeny little thing it's like an infinity really interesting it goes well with turquoise oh look at this another this is a bracelet <laughs> cute this is a liquid silver another 
70s, 80s holdover with um, the little shell fetish birds. But this is a double strand of liquid silver and it's on a barrel clasp, which I don't know how they thought that made sense. How can you put on a barrel clasp <laughs> on a bracelet? But yeah, it's pretty. It looks like sterling. It's very much, um, it's actually a twist one and it does have patina. So that's a nice one. Gold beads, need, they need to wash really bad. I can feel the stickiness. Purple, purple acrylic, but pretty. And it's interesting, but the ones at the end appear to be crystal. So I don't know if this was redone or what. Very pretty colors though. Look at that beautiful lilac and lavender. I like it. Let me see. Hey, Moon Goddess Treasures, how are you? Oh, my gosh. Tell your fiancé, Nick, that I am in love with that ring. I'm researching that cartouche mark on it. It is so amazing. I'm going to show it in a haul. I like to kind of show sometimes things I pick up at auctions. I'm in love with that ring. I wish it fit me a little bit better. It's a little on the big side, but I've been wearing it on my index finger. And it's just so different. It is not turquoise the way we expect turquoise to be only in native american jewelry or mexican jewelry it's so unique it's like definitely probably from the 60s i love it absolutely love it so uh if you're not watching crystal you probably are but if you aren't subscribe to crystal at moon goddess treasures as well this is broken what a shame it's a pretty little chain it's got those little bead balls, but it's so cute. And we've got a little tiny earring there with a... I was hoping to find this one. This one's cute, but I don't see it yet. It's kind of a brush gold. Don't have a match to that yet. Michael Kors watch, though, not bad. And a um, string of white beads. No clasp on it, but they don't feel cheap, honestly. They feel pretty good. Oh, this is cute. What is this, a brain? This is interesting. No, I don't see a Brighton name, but I like the chain. It's got like a amber glass on the back. So it shows through there. Look at that. That's interesting. I am too. I am too. Just in love with the... Uh, the vintage Mexican jewelry, especially. That's that's what this one is. Oh, I fell in love with it. The fish, and it's inlaid with lapis. 80 grams. I wear it, and I'm like, ground it. <laughs> kind of comforting. Okay, we have a tangle here, guys. A real tangle of gold chains in this little corner. And some threads. And yes, Miss Carrie, I will likely get the scissors for this tiny little thread for my scissors. And maybe it'll all come off right now. This is, I have no idea where this, it's like a little bracelet in there, that's what it is. But the rest of it, I'm not gonna waste time. It looks like it's a rose gold. It is Aldo, so I will untangle that gold chain there. It looks like it has some sparkles. This is wood. This is actually more interesting than anything there. Yeah, we're going to take that out, but later, because I'm going to pick everything up and get to my auction and um, see if I don't have anything else that matches. I think the best things in here, oh, this is cute. Here's a little necklace with a bead ball. I mean, a uh, dash and dot, and it is sterling. It is Mark Sterling. This is an interesting charm, though. I don't know if something the charm does not look like sterling the chain does and it almost looks like the charm had something in it or maybe it's just supposed to be some kind of a abstract thing going on i don't know but the chain is sterling so that's nice you save all your tangled jewelry for one night 
that sounds like a great idea. That time I had that huge ball and every, I did a video about it where I gave it to Robert and he did it and it took him two days, but he's got a system and he does. And he, I kind of watched him and learned a little bit, but I did find it very relaxing. It's just when you don't have the time and you're live on a video that it can be nerve wracking. Here's something gold and very heavy without a mark. And it's a Bible, two Bibles actually and a bird. So I will test that. I don't see anything on it. It's very hefty though. Could be 10, 10 carat or um, gold filled or something, but the surprising weight in proportion to size is causing me pause. So it will definitely hit the acid. And we got some clip-ons. These are cute too. Little door knocker clip-ons articulated there. And what else, what else, what else? Oh, I forgot to show you this. I don't know if you guys watched my last haul from Chicago. I picked this up too, and I forgot to put it in there. This was $3. Let me show it to you real quick. It's so cute. I thought it was really cool. It's wood, it's shell, it's um, kind of Lurex thread going through there. It's just a wild and crazy thing. Just really liked it. Couldn't resist it for $3. That was, an, I don't know how I left that one out. I thought I was done. But apparently I'd hung it somewhere. I think I was going to show it at an auction or something. And it stayed over there in that rack. And then I said, uh oh, that was supposedly had done the last of the Chicago. But that was part of it. Okay, this is cute too. This is, I believe, Im imitation hematite, super shiny and shell. All of this was in that one jar. I don't feel, uh, I don't feel gypped at all, guys. Not when you pay twenty-five dollars, right? We got gemstones. We got Michael Kors. We got some sterling chain. Interesting pieces. I like the compact a lot. All right, trivia question for a jewelry jar with a piece of sterling uh, in it. Going out to my winner today for tuning in. Uh, the question is, what was on the compact? The first person that tells me what was on the compact that I pulled out. I know you should have been here earlier, <laughs> but I started pretty early. I'm trying to get to my other appointment on Facebook at five o'clock. So the first one that tells me what was on the compact. Hey, Miss Vanessa, we're wrapping it up, but we're heading out to Facebook. I got some soda light too. That was cool. I'm in love with this Michael Kors watch. And I know he saturated the market and obliterated the purse market as well. Once he starts seeing, you know, fifth graders with Michael Kors bags. But I do like this watch. And I do like his jewelry and his uh, some of his clothing a lot more than I like his purses. But that's just me. Everybody likes what they like. I like old hippie purses too. And some people wouldn't be caught dead with them. Okay, looks like the first one that said the right one. Was it Cupid? It was indeed. It was Cupid. So um, I did get Angel, Angel. And I think we're going to have to go with Joni with Cupid because she got it right on the money. Joni Stock. Can we congratulate Joni? What Don't you think that she should be the winner? as she came out with the exact term Cupid first in my chat, followed by Verna. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. Come back for more videos. I will be doing a lot more giveaways, but they, I don't announce them. They just come kind of randomly. Again, if you're interested in a box of uh, crafter pieces free of charge, just pay me the shipping, either a $20 box $14 box or even an $8 bag. I will get them out when they run out. They're out. Let me, you know, I'll let you know and just be gracious in what you get. And I appreciate you guys so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.